A dynasty continues as mushers from the U.S. and Canada gathered in Driggs for the final round of the Pedigree Stage Top Dog Sled Race. Local News 8's Connor Knuckles has more. In a sport that takes a special bond that rivals a mother's love, sled dog racing in North America goes back over 110 years. From cross-country races such as the Iditarod, to shorter sprint stage races like the Pedigree Stage Stop Race in Western Wyoming. Mushers from across the U.S. and Canada traveled to Driggs for the final stage of the race. And after enduring seven grueling trails, the mushers and their dogs couldn't wait to hit the trail. So, Lena, who do I got here? Who are your leads here? This is Kobe and Jeter. This is Kobe and Jeter right here running here. In lead, and this is a young guy named Jeter. He's never raced before. This is his first race, and he's been doing awesome. Nice. Are, so, are you excited to hit the trail? I am. I am. Drix is a fun one. Once all the dogs were cleared for takeoff, the real fun for these athletes began. While the mushers were blazing the trails, I met up with race commentator and analyst Jerry Bath, who told me about some of the changes mushers have made over the years. I changed the course down to between 16 dogs on the truck and 12 a day. We changed it to 14 and 10, so a lighter person really has the advantage on that, but it's still anybody's game. It's all about the dogs. And as the mushers came flying across the finish line, reigning champion Annie Mallow from Canada won her fourth consecutive title, beating the second place musher by 20 minutes. Oh man, that was so wonderful. I mean, it's it's a big relief uh, to, you know, do the, the last day and the... Uh, and yeah, the dog were happy and uh, well, I still was racing even if I had like 20 minutes in front of the second team, but it was nice and the course was nice too, so yeah, <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I'm happy. It would be a big relief, eh? It is. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Reporting from Driggs, I'm Connor Knuckles signing off. <laughs> Looks like they had some great snow that they were dealing with there. Now, all of the mushers made it through the course safely. Two-time champion Lena Streeper came in second place, and Rookie of the Year Kathy Ritz came in third place. Congratulations to all of those guys. Okay, now, Evan, this race has really been so much fun to cover and watch, and they've been braving some pretty cold temperatures this week. I know that I was out there when the race took off from Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a balmy 28 <laughs> degrees, so, yeah, thanks for that. Um, <laughs>